Okay, so we just created a new page template called page-home.php, and we're now using it on this page we've called home here. We're going to be using it, and we're going to designate it as our home page for our website. So the first thing I'm going to do is we kind of copied and pasted from page slim. We can close this tab out. And I'm going to get rid of this column structure that we had used for page slim. Remember, we used a kind of skinny column structure where we'd occupy six columns in the middle and offset it by three on the left, which ends up looking like this. I'm going to right click on this and hit inspect element. And you can see that's about six columns wide across the middle. And it's actually kind of got this margin on the left of it that's offsetting it by three columns. That's what the orange is over there on the screen. So we want to go with a full width look for our home page. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that div and we need to get rid of its closing div as well. So I'm going to kill that off and then delete that right there as well. And then I'm just going to take all this and bring it back. The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to save this file. The other thing I'm going to do is grab that kind of big call out we had, the Jumbotron, if you recall, because that looks good on a home page. So I'm going to go ahead and find that. I believe it was in the index.php file. And here it is. I'm going to take it out of index because I don't really want it anywhere else in the website. I just want it on our home page. So I'm going to take all of this code out from the index.php site or page. Save that file. So index.php has now been updated to not have that in there. And then I'm going to go over here to page home and I'm going to drop it in just above over here. So let me just make sure. Yeah, so it was right after the get header call. So I'm going to paste it in right there like that. So if I save this now and I go over here and I refresh, there we go. Now we've got our kind of home page call out and no other page on our site should have this look or feel anymore unless we go over here when we create pages and designate it to have the home page template. Okay, so no other page has this now. This is the only page on our site that has this look, which is what we want. So again, the short code that we want to implement is a way to kind of get these three paragraphs. Of course, they're just one word paragraphs right now. We'll fill them out. But we want them to show up in kind of a three column structure. And we want to make that really easy for whoever's editing the website to do. That's the whole point of a short code is to come up with an easy way to do that. So again, if you look at the short code API, we're going to create something that looks like this. We'll create this capability where you can have this square bracket. And when we're editing our home page in the admin section, we can just write something like that and it'll split out our content into three columns. Okay, so what I'm saying is over here, we just want to have some sort of a bracket type thing where we can say, okay, one third, you know, and kind of get each of these paragraphs to show up on one third. Uh, of the page so that it's like column one here, column two is kind of over here, and then column three over here. So it's a simple implementation of shortcodes, but it should give you a good understanding of how to create your own custom shortcodes. That's the whole point here. Now, I think typically shortcodes are good to be used when you're developing plugins, but I just want to show you this in case for any reason you wanted to just build this into your own theme. So let's go ahead and get rid of this for now. And the first thing we're going to do, if we're going to add shortcodes built into our theme, we want to add them to our functions.php file. So I'm going to open that up. And this is where we'll create our shortcodes. I'm just going to go down to the bottom over here. And then I'm going to write this. We're going to create a function. We'll say function. And then we'll say custom underscore shortcode. And then in here we'll say, okay, what are the attributes if there are any? And then we'll set the content to nothing, to null. And then in curly braces, make sure you have your closing curly brace there. We'll just say, okay, let's, how are we going to get this to work? How are we going to show three columns? How are we going to 
get this content to be split out into three columns? Well, we know that Bootstrap gives us a way of creating columns. We've already done this column structure thing before. So if you go to getbootstrap.com and you go to their CSS section, of course, this website might change over time, but right now, uh, presently, if you go to the website, you'll read about their grid system and they've got this 12 column grid. Well, if we want to split 12 into three kind of larger columns, it would be four columns each. So three times four equals 12. So we'd need three four column sections. So let's do that. So with short codes, this is how you do it. We basically get that short code to spit that code out. And we just do it like this. Return is what spits out the code. And then we just say div class equals and we'll do it like this. We'll do single quotes around it. So div just to keep with the standard class equals and then in double quotes in there we'll say column small four and then we add this dot to concatenate and then we say content so the content will go inside of it that's from the post itself and then we say dot and then in single quotes close out the div so I'll explain this in a second but I'm just gonna save that and then just below it, we need to register this shortcode into the system. So we've just defined it. The way we'll register it is like this, add underscore shortcode. And then we'll say one third. We'll give it the name one third. And then we'll just say in here, the name of the function that we create this shortcode with. Add our semicolon and save it. And now, we should have a custom shortcode built in. All we have to do now is go over here, make sure you save your file, go over here, and let's wrap this up with those shortcodes. So we'll do it like this, bracket one third, and then we close the shortcode on the other side like this, kind of like HTML, one third. And you wanna make sure you're in text mode here, not visual. Okay, so go over here, and I'll copy this and apply it to each of these. So those are the opening ones. This is the closing one. And then I'm gonna hit update. And now if I go over here and I refresh, we're seeing that it hasn't changed. These aren't split out into three columns. And the reason why actually, if we go back, we have to actually line these up right against each other like this back to back, you kind of have to pack your content all together and you don't want those line breaks in there. So now if I hit update and I go over here and I refresh, there we go. Now it's showing. And the reason why that happens where they weren't kind of doing this and behaving the way we wanted is because by default, WordPress adds these paragraph tags in the HTML when you add these line breaks. When you do something like this, WordPress goes in there and it injects its own little paragraphs in the HTML. And paragraphs by default create automatic line breaks like that. So anyway, we're gonna leave it like this and I'm gonna save this into our database. And then there we go, now it's looking like this. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to disable that automatic paragraph thing that WordPress does.